Hey guys, Easy Tech over here. In the last video, I covered the basics of the Inspire, but not all of it. Before I start, I want to say that in the description, I have the times for the sections of the video in case you're interested in some of them or just want to skip around. So check them out. So without further ado, I present to you the beginner's guide version 2.0. First, I would like to show you a very useful feature that comes built in with the Inspire, which are the functions in the function library. To access them, just click on this beautiful button. We also have seen this when we built our own function or program. The first tab shows all the functions from A to Z. If you want to know the names of the functions you're looking for, this might be helpful. On the next tab, it's more related to calculus and algebra. The third one, it's all about unit conversion. This is very useful for when you want to do from Celsius to Fahrenheit or Kelvin, or when you want to go from uh, degrees to radians, followed by the symbols and matrices. And finally, one that we know, the public function of the document. Secondly, three things that in the beginning I would struggle to find, which are matrices, the exponential, and the complex numbers or how to express them. First, we have the dedicated button for the matrices, system and exponentials, etc. Here, if you want a costume matrix, the best way is to click on the one which is three by three. And this window pops up, allowing you to choose whatever you want. If we go back, we can choose to get the exponential of a number or of the Neperian number. Of course, that we can also do this with the dedicated button right here. Finally, the complex numbers. The easiest way I found is to go to this button with the pi number, and when this pops up, to the i, and that's it. Easy enough. Next, I want to show the quadratic formula, which is kind of masked in the menu. So if we jump to the menu, choose algebra and go down, <laughs> on to polynomial tools we found right in the top the option find roots of polynomial. Now, if we want the quadratic formula, we want degree two, real roots and complex. Depending on what we want, normally it's real and we just fill the elements uh, for the degrees two to zero and hit okay. And bam, there we have it. Now equations. Dun, dun, dun. This is where the Inspire cause stands out, since you can solve nonlinear equations. If you want to check one out, I have the link down below. To solve an equation, we, know we need to go to the menu, algebra, and we have two options. Solve, in which you need to put the equation, comma, uh, the variable that we want to solve in respect to. For example, like this. Or, in solve system of equations, in which we can choose one or more equations slash variables to solve. In this box, we choose the number of variables and their designation and voila. Last but not least, let's see how we put the calculator in exam mode. A very important note here. Do not put your calculator in exam mode when you don't have the software or another calculator. I did this and it was kind of a pain in the ass. First, turn the calculator off, like just control on. And when it's off, you start by clicking on uh, escape and on at the same time until this pops up. Now that you have all these options, you can check and then check depending what um, the exam requires. And finally choose enter, press to test. The calculator reboots and the LED on top start flashing. Bye, guys. See you next time. Gotcha. gotcha. Now, how do we get out of this? Well, when you have another calculator, you do like this. You just connect them both. You go to the one that isn't on exam mode. You go to my documents and you click on doc. And in the end, we have press to test. Here in press to test, just click on exit, press to test. It's easy enough. If you just have the computer, you need to go to the software and create a folder that's called exactly like this, press hyphen to hyphen test and put an empty document like this in the folder called 
exit test mode. Now, when you drag the folder to the handheld, it automatically reboots. And voila, we are done. Thank you so much for watching, guys. You already know, thumbs up if you like it. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do. For any questions or remarks, just leave them down below or text me on my Facebook page or Instagram. And uh, see you in the next one.